So I'd now like to just very briefly just touch on Interplay Production. Interplay Production um, is our, literally our production management system. We've been shipping this product now for around five years. And um, it's, it's evolved into a really uh, robust, very extensible uh, production management solution. But before I do that, I kind of just want to share something with you for a moment. If you think about this for a second, um, in the context of media and metadata, we, we perceive the value of media and metadata as being the same value. The reality is it's very different. Um, you know, metadata doesn't really have as much uh, presence compared to the media. For example, you know, management tools have lag behind creative tools. People have, you know, work with media very creative uh, with uh, creating some pretty fantastic um, content, but metadata doesn't necessarily play a big role in that. It does, but not in terms of the thinking process. Content is very interesting. The databases are dry. Uh, most people are visual thinkers. Um, so what we need to do about this is implement these accessible systems, create new business opportunities. From a source media perspective, you want to be able to find everything. Doesn't matter where it is in your facility, within your business, you want to be able to search across every part of that system and find it. And obviously continue to advance the state of the art. And really for us, that would mean making sure that we're driving our solutions towards things like cloud adoption and, and whatever the technology is of the future. So Interplay Production um, is a solution that we've, we've been um, uh, shipping and developing for quite some time now. It's really focused on real-time media production content. Uh, it's focused around project-based applications, um, really all about team collaboration. Um, it's designed for real-time applications. And what I mean by that <clears throat> is um, if you were looking for a, a system that's going to scale to uh, several hundred users, all working with real-time media concurrently, and want to search across their system for that media, you really need to deliver that same kind of real-time performance within your production management system. So just some simple things that we have in here in terms of you know, file format support, um, versioning, rollback, collaborative access, uh, role-based front ends. We're developing uh, interfaces now, as you'll see soon uh, in, a, in a few slides. We're developing interfaces now which will allow you to um, customize that interface in effect for the individual user in your organization. Interplay production over its um, lifetime, we've, we've actually um, added a whole range of software applications for different purposes in terms, of <clears throat> in terms of managing not just the content and the technology, but we've got login systems, we've got a uh, product called Interplay uh, Assist, so browsing, shortlisting, simple login, Interplay Access, which is more of a searching tool. Um, we have a product solution in the middle there, it's a bit hidden there. This is a journalist editing tool called it, uh, Instinct, a script-based editing system. Um, and then these are just management tools for the technology. So you can see there we've got mul multiple different software applications, um, which in its, in its own way is a bit of a problem, you know, because it may be that you have to have two of these applications open to actually do your job, which is really not very efficient. So. The backbone is built around um, a um, dedicated uh, data model. Um, we have a lot of redundancy built into this. We've got web services, software development kits for media transfer, both in and out of the system for integration with partners. Um, we've got these software application tools, um, integration with our media composer, news cutter, symphony editors, and then interplay access assist and instinct. And then these devices at the bottom, these automation tools, these are really network attached services. So things like transfer, transcode, copy, um, delivery, these are all part of the infrastructure that we can build out with an interplay system. Um, <clears throat> the largest interplay system that we've shipped today is about 330 concurrent users. So now just a step change now, just take a look at what is uh, interplay media asset management. This is a very different concept now. It might look the same as Interplay Production, but it actually steps out of the production environment and gives you a deeper reach into other parts of your, of, of your business. So this is really focused on managing the entire life cycle of your media assets. And again, from acquisition all the way through into the archive, um, has deep uh, layers of metadata management that you can tag to individual assets. Um, and it's really designed about collaboration across your whole business, not just in the, just the production uh, part of, the, uh, of your business. It's architected on this solution called a services-orientated architecture. 
So the component parts that this is built from, <clears throat> in effect, are all modules. And um, you know these modules can be, uh, they don't have to be all used at the same time. You can have the modules that you, knew, you need to build out the solution that you need for your workflow. I'll touch on the services oriented architecture in a minute, but uh, it makes them very highly uh, flexible and versatile systems when you're designing complex workflows. So just to summarize just in this one slide, in the middle there, the Production Asset Management System, or the PAM as we've termed it, focuses around projects, file sharing, searching, adding metadata, doing transcoding, uh, ingest and playback, file delivery. But if you step out into the MAM, this is really the, the whole thing now, the ability to integrate with rights management systems, cross-department collaboration, this idea of workflow orchestration, the management of content as it's acquired and it flows through the system by tagging rules to that particular object. So it actually flows and you can build automated processes to move that content more smoothly through your, through your business process.